guys welcome to my channel this is the 38th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the do while loop in C. The do while loop is the third and the final looping construct that we're going to meet in this course and uh, we've already seen the while and the for loops in the previous tutorials and uh, what we did in those tutorials we're going to try to do the same thing in this tutorial that is we're going to try to print uh, 10 statements on the screen and uh, you know each is going to be different from uh, the rest only slightly that is we're going to have uh, an integer in our program we're going to give it an initial value zero and then we're going to update it using do while and we're also going to print its value using printf uh, you know through the loop so the syntax of do while is uh, not really similar to while it's just that it has the keyword while in it so you know you could say that it is slightly similar but um, there is one important thing about do while and that is that it's not an entry control loop but it is an exit control loop and what i mean by that is even if the test condition for the first iteration in the loop evaluates to false the loop will have at least one iteration and uh, i guess the best way to explain that is by making the program and then by uh, demonstrating what i just talked about so let's declare our integer and uh, of course i'm going to call it a because that's my favorite name and uh, then I'll give it the value 0 using the assignment operator with a semicolon to terminate this statement. On the next line I'll type in the keyword do and uh, after typing in do I'm not going to type in a pair of parentheses I'm not going to type in test condition or anything instead I'm just going to have my pair of curly braces on the next line so you know you don't have to type in your test condition immediately after the keyword do and uh, that's what I meant when I said that it's an exit control loop but not an entry control loop and uh, anyway inside the body of do we're going to have printf of course because we have to display 10 strings on screen so the matter that we're going to display is going to be the same as we used for the previous tutorials a is and then the colon symbol and percentage d the format specifier that you need for an integer and then of course the new line escape sequence and after the second double quotation mark i'll put in a comma and then i'll type in the name of my variable which is a I'll put a semicolon to terminate this statement and I'll update the control variable by typing in a plus plus. Remember you can also type in a equals a plus one here. It's uh, it's the same thing and uh, a plus plus is just a shorthand way of doing it. And after the closing curly brace you have to type in the keyword while and this is where you have to type in your test condition right. So uh, after typing in while you need to put in a set of parentheses and within the parentheses you type in your test condition which is going to be a less than 10 right and another change uh, that you're going to have for the do while loop another um, you know important part of the syntax is that you have to put in a semicolon after the closing parentheses of the while statement right so you have to put a semicolon here and this is not something that you did either for for or for while so you know please uh, make a note of this and I've saved the file and when I click on build and run I see that in my output window I get the same output as I got uh, for the previous two tutorials you know for while and for forward. So do while does this but one thing that do while does and uh, that for and while do not do is that the loop works or the first iteration would work even if the test condition would evaluate to false right. So if here I would change the value of a to 10 then if we were using while or for then uh, the loop would have executed even once why because the test condition would have failed even before the first iteration of the loop and the loop would have done anything right but here since we are going to check whether the test condition value is to true or false after the body of the loop has been executed at least once we are going to have at least one iteration so I've saved the file and when I click on build and run I see that I do get the message a is 10. Right, so even though the test condition is not resulting into a true value, the loop has run at least once. So the do while loop finds interesting applications uh, in programs where you have menus, right? So where you would want to display something at least once, even if nothing is working, you would want to do something at least once. You know, in those cases, you would want to use the do while loop. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys have. Uh, you know absorb the syntax of do while we will definitely use it in this course uh, in in you know in the coming tutorials thank you so much for watching this uh, one i'll see you guys in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss something interesting for sure so 
uh, please stay tuned for updates and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, I'll see you soon.